Hi, Niels from Akuma here and today we are out on a big lake in the Netherlands and I want to talk about three different basic casting techniques for zander and perch. The first technique I want to talk about is jigging. For jigging we use a jig head with a soft bait and it's a really basic technique and it's perfect for covering a lot of water and finding fish. So you cast it out, you let it sink to the bottom and when your lure is on the bottom, you jig it up and you let it fall. And most of the time, you'll get your bites when your, lure, when your lure flutters back to the bottom. The rod I use for this technique is the Psycho Perch, 4 to 24 grams, 7 foot 3. So 2 meters 20 centimeter. It's perfect for casting from a boat. Uh, and it's a lightweight rod. The good thing about it is it has a really responsive tip, quite soft tip, but really responsive and a good backbone for setting the hook and fighting the fish. The second technique I want to talk about is finesse fishing, such as Carolina rigging, Texas, Texas rig or net rig. It's really, really good. Finesse fishing is really good on slow days when the fish is really tricky to catch. The perfect rod for this, uh, for finesse fishing, is the Helios SX. It's a really wide range with many different uh, weights and lengths. What I love about the action is that it's really soft and, and parabolic and it's perfect for loading up when, when you feel the fish biting. Together with the Helios SX rod, I'm using a Carolina rig just a small bullet weight uh, with a soft bait. In this case, it's a top minnow from Storm, really soft lure. And I'm using a little bit longer leader, like, like 70, 80 centimeters, because the fish is really tricky to catch and the water is really cold. So I want to fish really, really slow and give the fish a lot of time to bite. So for Car Carolina rigging, um, you want to find spots with a bit of structure, like uh, a rocky area, a drop-off, or like mussels, because that's where the perch and zander are going to hunt, and uh, they they hunt for crayfish. And the Carolina rig is perfect for creature baits uh, that imitate little crawfish. The cast towards the structure, and now we fish really, really slow. We make some twitches, reel it in and we let it sit there for three seconds, five seconds. When the fish is really slow, you can, you can let it sit a bit longer. But the, the long stops are really important when Carolina rigging. And when you feel a fish biting, you can feel her, sometimes you feel a really hard tuck, you feel a really hard bite. Sometimes you don't feel the bite at all. And the good thing is then, to have a soft rod which you can load up to and really set the hook into the fish. And that's when the Helios SX is a perfect rod for finesse fishing. The third and last technique I want to talk about is jerkbait and twitchbait fishing. Jerkbait is perfect for imitating uh, a wounded bait fish and it's really good when the fish is hunting more in the middle of the water column and it's not focused on, on like crayfish or uh, feeding on the bottom. So the way I fish it is I make a good long cast and I make a couple of cranks to get the jerkbait at its maximum depth. And then most of the time I do two twitches, but sometimes I switch it up and I, I make three or one. The most important thing is in between the twitches you have good long pauses. When the water is colder you can let it sit there for five seconds or maybe longer. The rod I like to use for jerkbait and twitchbait fishing is the Psycho Perch. I am currently using the 7 foot 3 and 7 to 32 grams. It has a really, it has a quite a soft but responsive tip that's perfect when so the fish can really inhale your lure and uh, because you're fishing with treble hooks, you don't lose that many fish as if, as if you would with, with a really stiff rod. But it still has a good backbone for setting the hook and making good twitches. Just a really responsive rod and it's perfect for, for jerkbait fishing. So these are my three go-to casting techniques when I go fishing from boats and when I want to catch zander and perch. Okuma has a really wide range of rods 
for every technique and they really suit me well well so check them out guys and goodbye from sunny netherlands <laughs>